This thing's getting beat up. Still rides smooth, but might be time to make a change. Just like that, we're on a new bike. Well guys, nothing wrong with my Genesis 29er, but after riding it for five years, it was time to replace it. And after scouting all the bike magazines, bike websites, I settled on this. The Cannondale Bad Boy 4 Lefty Fork. Hey Josh. Howdy. What do you think of that bike? I like it a lot. The Lefty Fork definitely uh, is different. Pretty cool. Lightweight, 25 pounds. I already put a headlight and tail light on it. This got me to thinking though. I spent 700 bucks on this bike. Wonder what I could have found out there if I went picking. Yeah. Let's, Let's go find out. Let's go check out Target. See what kind of bikes they have. Concentrate, Chris. Direction. Bicycles. Looks like they have Pacific, Schwinn. Pretty neat BMX. And any bike they can get you out riding. Of course, I think we are going to see a lot better bikes at the bike shop, though. Bad welds for a box store bike. That one's got nice ones. Schwinn Trail Light. 249. Wow. Here's the Northwoods. You always want to check your brakes before you even start riding. Check for little things here and there. We used to call these 10 speeds, but these, this one's a 14 speed. Some cruisers. This one's really cool. Look at this, man. It's like a 57 Chevy. 1952 it's modeled after. And then we got the watermelon pink here. Forget your helmets. All right. Let's go look at some bikes. All right. Before I hit the bike shops, I want to try out Walmart. I'm going to pop in the side entrance here real quick. See what kind of bikes they have. Better hurry up and get in and out of here. BMX here. Kids' bikes. All the bikes these days are made pretty well. One thing I'd look at is the welds. That one's got nice welds. And that one's not so much. <laughs> 249. Schwinn Huffy. I had a Huffy when I was a kid. That was my favorite bike. And we all wanted mongooses back in the day, but it seems like Walmart is the primary seller of mongoose now. The 29er. Schwinn. GMC Denali. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the
though I think it says right on these bikes, do not jump. So, all of these bikes have the look of a cool bike, but not necessarily the performance of a really good bike. All right, guys, what do you say we head to the actual bike shop? This is actually pretty cool. Guess they allow people to walk up here. Look at this thing. Electric bike, that thing is huge. Engine 8, big tire bike. Sun. Let's go outside. Well, that stinks. Looks like they're closed. Time for the pawn shop. Definitely a good place to find an inexpensive bicycle. Sometimes you find a diamond in the rough, too. Look at the welds on that. Beautiful. Lispo. Never heard of that. Roadmaster. Piper. These are all Walmart type bikes. And then you get this. Look at this, guys. Medium frame Cannondale. Two thirty. It's a little bit rough, but it has this really trick front shock on it. If that thing's bad, it can cost a fortune to replace that. That was probably a seven hundred, eight hundred dollar bike. Schwinn. Look at this. Huh. That's pretty neat too, actually. 50 bucks. That's pretty cheap. Elite FS. Mishiki. Schwinn. Roadmaster. Alpine. That's a big bike, too. But then you got this. This is what I saw. Hold on. You got a quick CX Cannondale for 150 disc brakes, shock on the front, Nova shock. And it's a jumbo, so it's my size. Wow. Probably a seven, eight hundred dollar bike. So it's from Orlando. It's a nice bike, man. I'm gonna have to strongly consider buying this. I got it for $149.99 with no tax. Now, off to the bike shop. We're gonna stop here at JC's Bikes and Boards and have them make sure that the bike is in good shape. I'll at least need to buy some candles for it. They're going to tweak it for me. Here's an XL frame, road bike, Cannondale. Before I got my Cannondale bad boy, I was going to get this bike right here. It's a jumbo frame Cannondale. Quick 7. Just dealing with road bikes right now, but eventually I'm gonna to have to get myself a mountain bike. I'm riding that Genesis 29er on trails and it's getting beat up pretty bad. Look at that. Beauty. Very cool looking frame. This too. Pre loved. Preload for six fifty. Right. 
Chris will look like. too big for BMX so luckily they now make big BMX look at this SC is doing some awesome big BMX bikes it's a 29er 27.5 I want one of these blocks flyers real bad but I have something else coming in even more awesome than these got my wife a bike Cannondale Adventure Sun Tour shot, so she'll be able to ride with me now. Very nice bike. Myself a bike stand. I'm not sure if they have bikes, but we'll try AAA Paul. This might be a quick trip. Looks like this is all they have. Goose. Hey, this is a pretty decent bike. It's a nice giant road bike. Look at the price though. New 1300, but yeah, that's far from new. 399 just solidifies the great deal I just got on my camp. This is a nice bike too. $500. The tires. It's actually a pretty good bike. It's pretty expensive, right? All right, off to the next place. Oh, here's a truck. This is this truck. Two forty nine ninety five. That's probably one of the nicest shape bikes I have. SSRC. All right. Let's keep looking. All right, let's see if we can find another pawn shop with bikes. And we're gonna try Cash American Pawn. Let's check the bikes outside first. Schwinn, a Mongoose. A Murray, a Roadmaster. Roller. This is made by Electra, I think. No, oh, wait a minute. This is Ocean Pacific. An OP Beach Cruiser. And then a Pacific over there. Yeah, nothing wrong with these low-end bikes. We're just looking for high-end bikes at a low-end price. So these are not gonna be what I need, but still cool bikes. Let's go inside. What we got up here. To Cannondale with a SR Suntour on it, $500. It's a nice bike, a little bit worn. It's got some cool stuff, but priced a little too high. That one over here will be gas motor. That might be fun. They're at another pawn shop. Got some bikes outside. Puffy. A little too serious a machine for me. Before I go do any more picking, though, I have to get a bite to eat. Chicken salad. dressing man that was good there's a pawn shop I've never been to people and jewelry pawn see if they have bikes just coming to check out what bikes you have here okay. oh, that's a nice one 
I like this seat. Any bike, man, any bike. Really not sure. Just like that, we're at another one. Pretty awesome Miata at the pawn shop. Look at that, got some racetrack stickers. Old cage. Sparko. <laughs> Gucci shift boot. Yankees. Car set up pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see what they got. Truck. A bit rough, but. Five dollars. What? Uh -oh. Let's see what else they got over there. KHS. That's a nice bike. GMC Denali, a rally. Decent bikes. I'm going to grab this bike right now for five bucks. And I think I'll leave it for somebody that actually needs a bike. He's a chain. Great shot. That one was hard to walk away from for five bucks, but boy, if I start hoarding bikes, it's over for me. Another value pawn. One thing's for sure, there's a lot of value pawns. This is one thing. Unbelievable. Hypermaster, Hyper, Schwinn, Schwinn. This is actually pretty neat. A bigger BMX. It's got a rock shot, this is more of a mountain bike, but. Schwinn, Roadmaster. Look at this 29er. It's a Genesis. They're all decent bikes. You could have fun on these still, but not what I'm looking for. It's all Diamondback. We're at another pawn shop. No bikes outside of this one, so we got to go inside. All right, let's check what they have in the back. Bikes are inside here. Roadmaster, Mongoose. Oh, there's a giant. This is actually a nice bike. An escape, and it's 120. That's pretty cool. The brown one. Roadmaster, Huffy Trail Runner. Wow, GT. Now that's a neat bike. 100 bucks. Great looking welds on that thing. Got a Suntour shock. I don't know, I'm good. Whoa. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, thousand bucks. Fixie bike. Now this is awesome. Complete carbon fiber bike. Looks incredible. Look. Sixteen hundred dollars. I guess I had it wrong. Is it sixteen hundred or eighteen hundred? Either way, just the frame alone on these bikes are two grand new. This has the tires, the crank set, the seat seat posts, handlebars, all that stuff. Huh? Definitely easily a two thousand dollar bike. I offered her six hundred dollars for that look bike, and she said. Nope. May as well check out this pawn shop. Looks like they have some bikes outside. Always have to be mindful about bikes that are outside, especially when it's been raining. Make sure none of the tubes are full of water. Let's go look. Hey, look at that. That's an awesome BMX right there. Specialized? Wow. We have a diamond back. Edgewood. Not a bad bike. Schwinn Sidewinder. And the next. Eh, let's go inside. Thank you. 
Try another pawn shop. DJ one fifty KHS. It's a mountain bike, but it's kind of like a big BMX. Bomber shock on the front. It's pretty neat. Nice bolts, nice crate. Pretty obscure bikes here. And then a truck 10 speed. Some nice bikes, actually. Especially this thing. Good components, front and rear disc brakes. All right, I think this is going to be my last stop this afternoon at a real bike store. I used to actually ride my bike up to this place as a kid. Let's go in and see what they have nowadays. Right, we got some some small BMX stuff, small BMX truck bikes. Is it cool? This is actually a great bike. I'm going to definitely keep this one in mind for my wife here. It's 150. Some poor shock on the front. It doesn't look like it has many miles on it either. Look at these girls' bikes. $399 it is a nice bike, pre owned. Huh, 399. 519. Hmm. This is cool too. A lot of bikes. Back when I used to come up here as a kid, this was full of BMX bikes. I like these cruisers. Well, we'll keep that one bike in mind, but man, it breaks my heart. According to this guy, BMX is dying, so not a lot of people are carrying them. I wouldn't say that, though. The SC bikes are pretty awesome and pretty popular. So guys, it's a few days later. Just got the call from the bike shop that my Cannondale is ready. Had him go over it all and make sure everything was in working order. So I want to pick it up. I'm going to get my $150 bike. And I wait to ride this thing. These bikes are awesome if you just want to go cruising. Look at that. Baja three-wheeler. Sun. And some cool used bikes. Exercise equipment. Old school. This is a neat little mountain bike here. Hardtail. Up 60 bucks for that hardtail. 180 for the Giant. 390. All right, let's go in and get my bike. All right, the Cannondale is ready. Got myself some new grips. Look at this, guys. OM Duro. There's a story behind this one. A gentleman bought the Beast Mode, ordered this thing instead because it has gears. And now he's given up his beast mode, which is in immaculate shape. And I'm going to get it. All right, guys, we packed the bike up on my way back to the house. My $150 bike has turned into a $210 bike. I had to buy a new front tire and, of course, new grips. Still a great deal. $150. Bucks. Josh, what do you think? For life. It weighs nothing. It's light. Call from JC's. My bike's in. If you just want a cruiser, like a seven speed cruiser. Yeah, only two wheels. yeah, but this is the size of the wheel. That's right. It's actually going to be a little taller. Look at that. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I mean, oh you can put you in the side. Oh my goodness. Yeah. At the moment, no. Actually, something just somewhere in that there. That is 
the beast mode. Sounds good. That's going to be step two. See where it fits. Because what we want to do is put him on something he's comfortable with. At least two or three years. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. 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 All right, guys. Let's pay for it and load it up. Josh, don't loop out on my new beast mode. I'm not going to. We're going to be worms for a few days. Takes at least that to learn to wheelie. Yeah. My wife a bike, the Cannondale Adventure, so she can go riding with me. This is a small frame, squeeze brake bike, Altus. Not a bad bike. I've already equipped it with a tail light and a headlight. We've already put a few miles on this bike, believe it or not. Here we have the Cannondale Quick CX3 that I got from the pawn shop. 150 bucks. Awesome bike. Hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. I did replace the tire on this and the grips. So it cost me another 60, but well worth it. So 210 bucks total, great bike. Here we have my Cannondale bad boy and we have Josh. 25 pound curls, it's a light bike. Pretty nifty, mechanical disc brakes, Kojak slicks, lefty fork. This is the Bad Boy 4. So I didn't get the Tron light tube in the front, but that's okay. We put a bike light on there. XL frame on this guy. Look at that fork, it's crazy. And last but not least, the SE Beast Mode. And we have many. This is probably my favorite bike. Definitely the funnest. need to slam the seat before anybody comments that seat should be all the way against the frame and dip forward but I'm kind of tall so I got to get my wheelies down first I used to be able to catwalk a bike all the way down the road but now these guys are doing manuals all the way down the road manual think you can do a manual no that's just a look cool one uh, you're trying to pull up with your arms you got to pull back with your body Don't loop out. <laughs> this one's the easiest though worm, to get up. Worm. Yeah. Let's line them up. We got no excuse now, boys. We got to get out and ride. Fun now. Time to get in shape. All right, guys. Happy picking out there. We'll see ya. Check out the bad boy at night. This is with no lights on, just reflectors. Drop the seat down, looks pretty cool. Let's turn on some lights. There's with the lights on. Pretty good visibility. And we got the flasher. More important thing, guys, your helmet. See ya.